So yes, it's that time of the month again already. So this is my uh, blooming update for the month of April 2024. So welcome all of you, welcome to the Orchid Saga. My name is Ilkjan Wiesma, also known as EZA. So yes, this is my blooming update for the month of uh, April 2024. And I was starting my intro with this beauty. And I started with this because this is probably, if you ask me, the most beautiful bloom that I have. Of course, it's personal taste, but this is absolutely my favorite. It's a, obviously a Miltoniopsis, as you can see. It has the color. It is a beautiful, the color. And it is fairly large, as you can see. It's a nice size. The plant itself is finally starting to do better. So it's producing also better blooming. We even have more in the back here. And let me show it like this. This is the water fall pattern on that bloom on that lip it's absolutely amazing i absolutely love it so i start i'm going to start this video very good i believe <laughs> with my uh, personal favorite and of course on top of that all this has also an amazing fragrance like most of the meltoniopsis do and this is the name for it. So the hula skirt. <laughs> yeah, absolutely a favorite. Nonetheless, this is her Alexander. Also very, very beautiful. I'm sorry for the shade and the light because it's a bit hard to film with those uh, LED lights, but I try my best. But uh, yeah, this is also a beauty. It's starting to become also a nice large plant. Some nice size to it. We have even a few more blooms over here. And I have a division of this one and that one is also blooming over here. As you can see, quite a bit smaller. But nonetheless, it's doing fine. The blooms are also a bit smaller, which was to be expected in this case but uh like i said also beautiful and then we have this one this is also something else you guys milton no actually it's still a miltoniopsis but it has a bit of a a creamy color to it a bit of yellow greenish color which i absolutely love but what i also do like is it's almost like you have painted your uh, canvas with a white paint and it's still wet and then you let a drip of different colors fall onto your canvas and it's you get this splatters effect i call yeah splatter i think you call it because look at that just little dots not connecting with the center but just single dots of color on there same goes for this one you see that over here I think that is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And this is called, I think it's this one. I did get his name from a uh, viewer a few years back. And he is also has a, quite a, a collection of Miltoniopsis and he came up with this name. So, but I cannot find this one online. So, but that could be it, that could be it absolutely beautiful so that is that miltoniopsis let's go over here i mean look at this one standing on the floor we have a fairly large spike there another one here and some buds over here this one is doing phenomenally well absolutely beautiful this might be the red tie, I believe, but I'm not completely sure. But what I do know is it has the largest blooms. <laughs> These keep on getting bigger and bigger. And that's because the plant is doing well and it's also getting bigger and bigger. You have beautiful bulbs, beautiful leaves, and then you will get those beautiful blooms. Absolutely stunning, if you ask me. 
Then here we have the Alkmaar. Colmenar Alkmaar is blooming again. And we do get another spike over there. Next with Masdevelius, I'm not doing well with Masdevelius, but nonetheless, they are blooming. Here we are, beautiful yellow bloom. But always a bit of those yellow uh, tips on the leaves. And then this is my biggest Masdevelia called um, Black Velvet. There it is. Also doing quite nice, beautiful bloom, but still hmm, not doing as it should, I think. It could do better. And then look at this, my most favorite Saigo bloom. The, uh, it's a very common one and I do forget the name. Uh, Luisendorf, yes, of course. <laughs> I needed to check the name tag quickly. This is the second spike on the same bulb. It does have, this was the first one. And yet I just, my cycles do get keep those black spots. So I try to work uh, on that, but nonetheless, it's beautiful uh, blooming. <laughs> Looks quite strong, but I don't like the spots, to be honest. So yes, that is this one. And then over here, look at this. And our Miltoniopsis, this one is also enjoying her life. Beautiful shape, blooms, nice colors. This llama looks so happy, I don't know why, but <laughs> I think because of the shape of the flowers and the colors maybe. But as you can see, it's the same plant. This lip looks almost white, where this one has way more pink on it so uh but yeah beautiful that's the beauty if your plants are getting uh if you have them for a few years in the collection they, they get older and older and they do well they, they start to become so beautiful so strong oh yeah and if you think i have something on my finger it's just a blister a blood blister <laughs> so i have nothing uh there that can uh, infect the blooms badly, I think. It's just a uh, blister, a little, little accident we had. And then we have the Lisa Delight. So this is a Wilson Nara Lisa Delight over here. The spike is a bit heavy because of the blooms on there, but look at this. Also very nice, I think. Very, very nice. So yeah, Lisa Delight. There, whoops, there you go. My Colmenara. Uh, no, it's Odontoglossum uh, Carla. That is this one, yes. <laughs> it's almost done blooming, as you can see. So not much left. We have quite some aphids on that, sadly. This is the Colmenara. Um, no, sorry. Mice uh, Reds. Well, actually, it's a Colmenara. Yeah. Commonara Mice Red, that's the full name. But as you can see, almost done blooming, almost done blooming. Ah, I didn't have seen this yet, but look at this one. This first bloom open, also getting uh, quite a nice size to it. Where is my name tag for this one here? Because I keep forgetting. Here it is, Catante Pacific Sunspots. And of course the bloom is facing the other way, but let's see if we can bend it a little bit without breaking it. Yeah, there we go. So next time it will be better in focus and in bloom, but yeah, took me a few years. I didn't give it enough light to rebloom it, but there, look at that, a beautiful long spike. And next to it we have a bit of a branch on a spike on this beauty. Look at that. This is the Oncidium Purpurata variety, uh, yeah, variety Alba. I see it on diff with different names, but I keep calling it uh, Purpurea Alba. Beautiful. I really, really love the colors. It's a bit of a greenish yellow with a white lip. It goes so well together. It's absolutely beautiful colors. My Catherine Suck, Ancidium Catherine Suck is also blooming over here. 
very strong fragrance on this one. Not necessarily a, a very nice fragrance. It's not bad, but it's but it's very strong. So if you don't like very strong fragrances, this is not the one for you. But I uh, I really uh, like the blooms. I hope I can show them a bit well because the backdrop is quite quite light. <laughs> Let's go over here. Well, my Lodicias are also done. But this one, this is the first rebloom. Absolutely stunning. And look how large these blooms are. Two of them, but absolutely beautiful. Like I said, the first time rebloom for me. This is the Bellara Geyser Green, something like that. Let me quickly check it. Ah, sorry. Uh, Bellara Tahama Glacier Green. That is this one. Absolutely stunning. The plant itself is not that big yet. Starting to get some size to it. This is the bulb that is blooming. So it's bigger. But uh, the blooms, yeah. Absolutely stunning. Then down here, we have this beauty blooming. And this one is my own and the other one I did plant it in the same pot, I did get from Inse. And this is coming from the Inca Orchids and it's uh, Blossom Falls. Blossom Falls, that is this one. Yeah, also very, very nice. Very nice. And then over here I have my slippers. Still blooming. Well, actually, probably a pair of them, I could say. <laughs> um, yeah, those are both facing a different direction. <laughs> there they are. Being beautiful. And this one, this is the very large one. Beautiful white one. Absolutely lovely. Pinocchio Alba. Again, two blooms. Just like last time, and I think even the time before a bit. So that would be February, I think, update. It started with two blooms, and ever since it keeps uh, blooming on two of them. New buds are already forming, as you can see. So yeah, beautiful. And here is my American Hybrid. That wasn't blooming the last time, but now it's opened up. Look at that. Beautiful bloom. Nice. Details on there, nice shiny bloom, nice lip. <laughs> yeah, absolutely beautiful. So, and they really enjoy it over here, as you can see. Very nice shiny leaves on them. That is what we want, of course. Let's turn around without making you guys dizzy. And let's go into the greenhouse because this was it for here. Yes, quickly checking. Because I obviously, as you probably already know, always forget some. Whoops. Tried to close the door behind me, I'm sorry. Oops. Oh, that's okay. I thought uh, one was uh, almost falling off. So some are blooming fails. This is from my uh, last haul, my YouTube haul. Still has two blooms on, so that's beautiful. And last week's uh, video, of course, was... Uh, my fail update. Well, we have still uh, quite some blooms. Thank you so much. It's uh, again a very, very popular video. So if you want to have a look at all of them, I will link that video as well uh, as, uh, as my unboxing video and on the, on the end of this video. So you can check it out if you want to. Here is my Tolumnia. Tolumnia Tequila Sunrise. A nice branch on this spike. Beautiful uh, color on those blooms. Absolutely beautiful. Nice little cluster of blooms. Let's go over here. This one, I don't have a name for it, but it's beautiful. It's something, uh, I believe, an Cyclia crossed with a Cattleya, but nobody knows for sure. <laughs> and when they open up, just open up. I like them the best because the yellow is a little bit darker. 
but I really enjoy this one. And luckily it likes uh, the greenhouse as well, but you can see that then they start to get a bit creamy. Still okay, but if, uh, but yeah, a little bit more yellow, I enjoy it just a little bit better. <laughs> Yeah, my carnivore plant is also blooming. For those who saw that uh, video, my carnivores, this one is already done. Absolutely <laughs> beautiful bloom. Just a quick update on those. So next to it, we have another encyclia. Let me quickly check. I think it's now called as encyclia. But anyhow, it's the Chocolaté variety Chocolaté. <laughs> Very funny name, if you ask me. Whoops, I'm sorry. It was a little bit rough on my end. Beautiful blooms, absolutely beautiful. I don't have a chocolate fragrance. You all, oh, not yet, or not in this one. You would expect that with such a name, wouldn't you? But no fragrance today. Maybe I need a little bit more light on them. Who knows? Very young plant, but it's uh, doing fine beside this leaf. A little bit of burn there, but the rest is okay. And we are still in the octopus-shaped blooms. <laughs> this is one you see quite uh, quite often with other growers uh, as well, I believe. And I completely understand why. It's now called a sickly uh, green hornet. I have it as an epidendrum, but I believe it's now also called an encyclia. Green Hornet, but you will find it under, under that name. So that is this one with strange <laughs> shaped uh, spike. But anyhow, and then you guys look at this. It's the season. I see it uh, also on other channels. Blooming. It's the Encyclia Black Comet. Oh, what a flowers. What a flowers. It's the best blooming so far with two spikes and two bulbs. But they are nicely uh, together and almost at the same time in bloom, as you can see. So we have quite some buds left here, but a few more over here on this spike. So yeah, this is going to be good. It's already good, don't get me wrong. <laughs> yeah, I love the colors on this. So, and then over here, above it, we still have this beautiful Ancelia Africana in bloom. I'm really trying to get it as nicely in, in frame because of the light. Yeah, this is better, I think. Isn't it beautiful? So it's a big spike. And another one over there, as you can see in the middle of the screen now. So yeah, this one seems to do fine. The one next to it is done blooming with this spike. It has a few blooms over there, but it's just Done blooming. This is dropping some flowers, but it has a few more on there. And then down here, you guys, look at this one. This is also so special. It's a bit strange. This should be uh, upright a little bit more, I believe. Well, actually, this is also an older flower. This is just opening up and you can see it's just, it's a different shape flower, but I, I, I really like it. And I love the colors on it. Absolutely love it. Look at that lip. Isn't that beautiful? And then that orange on the sepals and the petals with the twisting edging going on. Absolutely beautiful. Let me give you the name. Here it is. Elegance. Well, yeah, it is an elegant bloom for sure. This is one you may, uh, can refer to it if you go online sometimes and you're looking for some orchid because you have a <laughs> you you don't have enough plants and you have some budget. I saw this on a picture and I was like, hmm, maybe I'm going to like it. Maybe I'm not going to like it. I'm not completely sure. The picture wasn't very good, I believe, but I, there, there was something that that did take my uh, attention. So I thought, you know what, I'm going just going to try it. I'm, I'm buying it and, and I'm hopefully going to bloom it. And who knows, it might be a very pretty one. And it turned out to be a very, very pretty plant, if you ask me. And sometimes the opposite happens. When you are seeing them in real life and like, hmm, not completely what I did expect. Especially like with that orchid, if they take pictures when it's just opened, 
are taking pictures when it was open for a few days. The, the difference in colors, and they can trick you a little bit with that. Some, some growers do that, some nurseries. Not all of them, but some. And I really don't like that, but we all can uh, probably refer to it. This was just, I believe, a, a, not a good picture, maybe. I'm not completely sure. But anyhow, I, it turned out to be even more beautiful than I thought. So that happens. Yeah, it's good, uh, good blooming. Next to it, a first time bloomer. Look at that. This is the Laelia purpurata. I have it as a variety workhouse on the eye. But I'm not completely sure, to be honest. I thought it would be more of a purple, bluish purple color. And let me check on the camera. Yeah, I think it's pretty, it's more of a, uh, a reddish purple. And it's all been open for four or five days now. I don't know. The, the shape of the blooms does, does look similar. Who knows? If you, if you recognize it, please let me know. But uh, yeah, like I said, I have it as the workhouse house or in the eye. Yeah, it's Lelia purpurata, but uh, workhouse or in the eye. Um, yeah, tech needs to go in, but nonetheless, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Three very, very nice blooms, I believe. Then down here we have a few fells that I bought in with spikes and blooms. But this one opened up. This is the Gigan Dragon Miro, one of my last hauls. And this is the bloom. Look at that. So this, these are not my blooms, so to speak, but I just wanted to give it an update. Absolutely beautiful. And then we have a Finally, a bit of bloom on this one. This is the uh, Iba Nagara. It's now Jack Volier. Apple Blossom. Hihi Manu. Very, very hard to get this one. Very, I am very, very lucky to find this one. Well, actually, I traded with, uh, with a viewer as well. <laughs> I know her from uh, Facebook as well, but yeah. So did, she did get a pink one. She likes the pink one a little bit better. And she sent me this one in return. But look at that bloom. Absolutely stunning. And the fragrance on these apple blossoms, you guys, are is phenomenal. Absolutely beautiful. And this is the pink variety. But she is going over now. So the colors do show up a little bit, uh, a little less vibrant. And I do see thrips. And I knew already I did have thrips. But we, um, we have some nice weather and then it's really sort of wake up. So I will uh, spray them afterwards if you see some running. Yeah, that's something I need to deal with apparently. <laughs> or dealing with and it will, uh, they will come back. But it's, it's kind of okay if you're on top of them. And I think I am, but uh, yeah, I really need to spray them. Like I said, I will do that after filming because I don't want to inhale all of those uh, pesticides, pesticides etc. So yeah, on the end of this video, come on, I need to move, but I am always a bit distracted by the beauty of the veils. <laughs> Let's go over here, look at this, smiling at us. <laughs> oh, this is, this is my favorite uh, amongst the brushier types. It's the Orange Delight. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. And it's becoming quite a nice size plant. Not a spike over here. I really enjoy these guys. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, so you can see the spikes over there. It looks absolutely beautiful, like I said. And then over here, see it's back in bloom. This is my Miltonia Festiva. Look at that. Very nice. They, this, the only downside, I think, of this one is that the blooms are always almost like a cluster. I would love to have a little bit more space in between them so we can enjoy them a little bit better. But yeah, that's the only thing I can say about this. It's just a beautiful, beautiful Miltonia. I have another spike here, another one coming over here. And I have another one here. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure, but it's quite a few to come. And this is also just starting to open up, as you can see. So yeah doing fine i believe then over here this one you didn't see on my channel before this is a pocket uh, that i did from ebay 
a few few months back, I believe. I did see it, and, and I'm not sure how did I talk about it in a video, but this is Miltonia Spectabile Alba Full Moon. Not that easy to get, so I was so happy that I was one of the people that could buy a division. Look at that. Absolutely, I love it. I love the Albas. This is, uh, and uh, I love the name, Full Moon. So only one bloom that did came quite quickly after I did uh, repot it. And in the meanwhile, it started a new growth here and a one there. I believe one there and here and here. So we have a lot of roots growing. This one is really, uh, looks very vigorous. Uh, the same, uh, same story uh, basically as my uh, other uh, Moriana. Spectable, I'm sorry. Yeah, Moriana, that's the variety. But um, that one had Fusarium. This one doesn't have it, as it seems. So uh, anyhow, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So and that one, the other one is this one. Well, look at that. What a new growth. I counted 32 <laughs> so far. Beautiful, beautiful. My uh, Miltonia sunset is over here. Look at that. Beautiful. I love these colors together. Absolutely love them. Absolutely love them. Beautiful, very strong spike. And then next to it, we have um, the Bartley Schwarz White. Also, I have quite some spikes. I hope you can see it. It's a bit high for me. <laughs> there we are. I'm sorry. There we go. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. So we have a spike here. I have one there, another one here, another one there in the back, and believe it or not, we have a few butts over there as well. There. <laughs> so next time I should take it down so we have a better look at it. But yeah, look at those. Miltonias, absolutely beautiful, if you ask me. Then I did change rearranged a few things in my greenhouse. My epidermis are now over here. I have a little bit more space and some of them started to bloom. This is no ID. Um, yeah, radicans, orange. And this came with a, called a red dragon. I'm sorry, my camera has a hard time to pick up the color as many cameras has, with a red and a purple sometimes. But yeah, beautiful. I think they will do a bit better here. A bit more light. The white one just stopped blooming. And if you don't forget, I will put in a picture. Let me do it like this. I had a complete different color on this one. Exact same plant, but the color was completely different. So that can happen with the hybrids sometimes, but I found it very uh, funny. This one is doing very well. Very, growing very nicely. Then I have this Dendrobium Phenoliopsis in bloom. This is the Anna Green Splash. Very nice blooms. I love these colors together. The green with the purple. And then next to it we have this one. It's also very nice. Let me see. There you are. And this is the Bilara Torero. Yeah, and I don't know why, but this uh, spike stopped uh, developing. So we have three blooms on this, but she is trying to make up for it. <laughs> There's another spike coming. So that's okay, of course. So that is this one. Let me quickly check. Did I have everything in this corner? Yes. We have, well, still a bit of a bloom left on the uh, Rene Marquez. Not much, as you can see, the color is uh, going. Then Drobium Phenoliopsis Purple Happiness is also making, just starting to bloom on a new spike. Again, I'm sorry, I hope the colors do show up. It's hard for me to tell now, but. And the Takanadas, this is the Nora Takanada. Still quite a lot of blooms on there, as you can see in the background. And next to her, of course, is Roy. <laughs> some blooms are going over and some are yet still very beautiful. 
my spectabular cross. Even though the colors are starting to fade, but this one is kind of looking okay. We have some blooms over there. Some old canes are now in its getting to grow mode. And we have a few here, as you can see, but these are really uh, starting to go over. Which, which there comes a time, so it uh, need, needs to be done. <laughs> and we have a beautiful spike growing here, but it also started uh, blooming on this one. And then they uh, will kind of start to hang over because of the weight of the blooms. This is my uh, Oncidium Sherry Baby. Oh, beautiful fragrance. Very vanilla, chocolatey like. Absolutely beautiful. So let me uh, back off a little bit so you can see. Whoops, there it is. Yes, you guys, and then next to it, this is a bit of a little story. <laughs> Already a bloom going over, but luckily I am in time to film it. I have this one for donkey's years and I couldn't get it to bloom. I at least have this one for uh, yeah, six years. And you see, now see it uh, in many videos. It's apparently the time. This is my uh, Dendrobium Chrysotoxum variety Suavicium. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, I. Yeah, 2018. But that was the date when it did get uh, into uh, self watering. So I had it even before. So yeah, at least six years. Well, actually, let's put it here. Yeah, I kept messing it up somehow. The thing that I did change is uh, I gave it a little bit more of a uh, similar uh, care in winter as my Nobilis. Not completely dry, but way drier and more light. And then as soon as this really uh, spring starts, I'm putting it a little bit more out of the sun because otherwise it starts to burn. And I, I, yeah, recently years I was a little bit too late taking it out of the sun. I lost the root system, etc. But now we have this bulb. Uh, that's blooming and this is a fairly big one it came in the same year it had a spy going but it stopped maybe you can see it i don't know why but it looks okay but didn't want to bloom and next to it we have my hancockii androbium hancockii this is the bamboo type orchid you see here and it has these beautiful yellow blooms on it let's get one in focus this is the hancockii and we have a few here and there i like the you can see the yellow spots, <laughs> almost like little butterflies flying around this plant. But that is, uh, that is this one, this is the Hancockii. So yeah, it's a bit of a bamboo type orchid. And it has over here a little cluster of blooms. Fairly waxy, oops, there we are, I'm sorry. A bit of waxy blooms when they start to open up. And they smell very honey-like, very honey-like. So if you like honey, the fragrance, then you might want the Hancock Yai. And this one is also fragrant. And let me quickly check. Is it honey? No, no, not really. It's more of a general fragrance, floral fragrance. Hard to describe. It's not very nice. It's not bad at all, if you ask me. But not, not sweet. I, I have the tendency to really enjoy the sweet fragrances. And here we have some Nobilis in bloom. Uh, probably in the next video, I was already working on this video, it will uh, be an update on one by one of these guys. So I will uh, upload it, I think, next week. And then I did film them when they were fully in bloom, just like I said, one by one, because I really enjoy the flowers. And also I like the look of this. It's uh, like this, all the colors, but I thought I'm going to make a video and just take them out. They really deserve it because they bloom so beautiful. And they have so many beautiful colors on here. So this is the rainbow dance that I have. Which I just recently see on uh, Fernanda's channel as well, Fernanda and Succulents. And she had a yellow one as well, so I did get a name from her channel. I didn't have the original name. <laughs> but I kept it calling the starters yellow. So in that video, it will still keep it uh, calling it uh, starters yellow because I did pre-film it. But anyhow, and I have a nobly type over there with that whitish bloom. It's the Apollon. Yes, Apollon. Over there. And then we have this one with these strange clusters. Well, it's not a uh, nobly type. Look at that. 
<laughs> I have a name for it. It's Dendrobium capituliforum florum. I'm sorry, there's the name. And that is the name of this white one. And oh, I did lose the tag of this one. This one is about to bloom. Perusiae. What is it? Yeah, Perusiae. Oh, I didn't lose the tag. I just uh, didn't see it. Perusiae is about to bloom. Noblies, more noblies. Um, Prima Donna, beautiful yellow one. And then we have this white one over here. That is. Well, I don't have the original name for it, I believe, but, oops. One, one, it's a, what sound, they white. <laughs> uh, what did you say? I'm sorry, you guys, I tried to find a way to, here it is. So you can pause the video and have a look if you, uh, if you like it. Yeah, they start to drop blooms. They were uh, in flower for quite a while, as was this purple one, but you can see it's now, uh, it has a few left almost done blooming and then here we have a bit of a special one for most people and i understand why because it's beautiful these are going over these are fairly fresh look at those hairy blooms there we go <laughs> dendrobium herbianum the one and only look at that absolutely beautiful so yeah, this doesn't look as good plant-wise, but it's doing better. This is uh, last year's cane, so I think I found it. Also kept it a little bit drier. I kept it too cold, too, cool, too warm. <laughs> then I lost the roots, and now I have uh, some more roots. So it's doing better, and you can see. Whoops, don't shake it too much. But we will have more flowers over there. We have this spike, this one is done. Here we have a spike and another spike over here. Some cakeys, but they stop growing the roots. So I would like to uh, try to uh, grow some cakeys from this plant because a lot of people like this one. I wouldn't mind to have a few extra if nobody wants them. <laughs> I know people would like them, but yeah, like I said, the, the, the roots will not develop. Even though I have quite a high immunity here, still yet they, uh, they don't like to progress some way somehow <laughs> um whoops here we go so quick look around for me yes i think this was it so yeah this is my blooming update for the month of april you guys a lot of blooms <laughs> a lot of blooms and even more if you want to check out my fails of course because they are stunning as well. I really enjoy it. But yeah, overall, yeah, we did, I did skip this one. This is the red one that was in my last update, but you can see it's going over now. It's a cross with you, why not? So uh, yeah, this is it. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy making these videos. Anyhow, of course, as usual, if you have any questions, please let me know. If you uh, saw some like this one and you know the name or Something like that, please let me know as well. And of course, uh, thank you so much for, for watching. And uh, I really, really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye-bye. <laughs>